Folks, I've had a person ask me a question here. I'm going to show you the question. It's on one of my tutorials uh, about Ken Burns' effect, and it's a guy named Joe. And Joe says, Hi, Tony. I know the ins and outs of moving the image. The only thing I haven't been able to find is the inertia effect when an image slows down to a natural stop. And I've told him, Hey, Joe, I, I call that an easing to a stop or a, a, an ease in or ease out. In other words, it's just changing speed. I think this is what Joe's asking, so I'm going to go ahead and I've done this tutorial somewhere before. I cannot for the life of me find it. So I'm going to do it again, <laughs> and it's very simple. Uh, so I've brought in a, a blue background here. I've gone on screen for about 15 seconds. Just pulled on back to about 12. I don't need it for very long. And I've also brought in a little uh, heart image right here. Uh, it's heart month coming up, so I'll go ahead and use this little heart image here. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this... Uh, move and ease into a spot uh, so that it doesn't if I do this just using the plain old Ken Burns effect and don't add speed into the uh, equation then it's just going to go there and it's just going to sit right so I'm going to go ahead and click on the heart of the image here I'm going to go up under on the premiere here and twirl down this little uh, uh, triangle here where I have the motion uh, and I have the position and effect so you can see it's this motion and position scale, or rather not effect, position and scale in the effects. I'm going to click on a, um, uh, you know, the little stopwatch on both those to add a keyframe. And that keyframe is that little half of a thing that you're seeing there, right? It's just a tiny little portion of a frame. Uh, so, but it's, it's the half of it. So what I want this to do, I want this over time to, uh, I guess to maybe zoom in and settle to a place up here where I could put text over to the side of it. Now this would work for video. I'm just using a still image for this, but you could put a piece of video on this. It doesn't matter. Premiere doesn't care if it's video. Just for the sake of doing this easy way, I'm using a still image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this uh, at this very location. I've not moved the time any time at all. I'm still at the very beginning before the heart is here. I'm going to take the scale down to probably like zero. <laughs> or one, let's, let's leave it at one. So this thing, thing kind of pops on the screen at 1% size. And then I'm gonna move forward a little bit. And by this point, I want this image, this little thing to be blown up to a point where it can sit up in here. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just make the size about where I want it to be. I want, no, I want it to be about that size. I know I want it to go up a little. So I'm just going over here, I'm just dragging left and right, right? You get on this and see where it makes the left and right. And I want it to be up in here, maybe in this corner. Maybe a little higher. There we go. Uh, so right now, this happens all at one speed. Just watch it happen. Doesn't speed up, doesn't slow down. It just goes at one speed and it gets there, right? Well, I want this to be a, to kind of ease in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the very beginning. I'm going to drag this. I'm up here dragging this part, right? I'm going to go to the very beginning. The reason I do that is because when I zoom into these things, it, it, it looks a little better. <laughs> it's a little easier to, to predict what it's going to do. So what I've done, I've grabbed right here and I'm zooming in where I can see these keyframes a little bit better. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the uh, position and I'm going to go to there. And I'm going to, I click this little down on this. And what that does, that brings open a, uh, a place here where we can see velocity. Now, uh, so in other words, we're going to be able to see over time how this is. You see it's a very straight line. It's just saying that the velocity of this maintains a steady pace the whole time, right? If I click on this keyframe, it's going to give me some little handles here. Ooh, what's going on here? Well, check this out. I can change. I can have this, like, like say I want this to come in, uh, uh, you know, fast and in slow. So what I got here, the higher up I go, the faster this is moving, right? And I go over here and grab this little round part. I can pull down to zero here. So I can make this curve something like this. And let's just see how it's, what's going to happen. It's going to go fast and it's going to go slow, right? Let's go ahead and click down here, and I'm going to hit uh, the space bar to play. So it comes in fast, and it eases in, right? It gets to this point here. Boom, and it eases in, okay? So say I want to sit there for a second or two, then I want to, like, scoot, skedaddle out. Maybe it starts slow and goes fast out, right? So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click back on it again where I can see these things again. I'm going to add another keyframe. So what I want to happen, I want this to not do anything. I just want it to sit there for about a second or so. And now I'm going to click a keyframe here, and I've got a space. So between these two points here, nothing is happening. Because I've gotten to a point I used from here to here, I created some motion. But I want it to sit still here. But then I want it to skedaddle off the page. And you can see what's happening. As I move this, you can see down here, this is moving as well. So I could do this both places. I could go down here. At this point, I want that to be maybe slid off. But I want it to start 
uh, slow and then kind of go fast on the way out. So I'm going to put another keyframe in by clicking on this diamond again to add the keyframe. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put it where I want it to be. So I want it to be, I'm, I'm grabbing this thing here, I'm sliding over to the right, and I want it to be totally off the screen. So you can see here, I've got a, it, it made a little curve for me, didn't it? Let's take a look at what it does. It goes pretty quick off there. I'm going to click this one again. So what I really want is for it to go slow in the beginning and then fast toward the end. So let's pull this back this way. And let's see if I can pull this up to a point where it's going to be off the screen here, right? So now let's take a look at what we got. I'm just making, I'm making the curve kind of what I want it to be. So I want to cut to start slowly moving here at this point. It's going to be moving just a little bit. Then it's going to, it's going to start, like Star Trek, going to leave the screen here. So here we go. We're going to come in easy, and easy and settle. Then we're going to start to move and, and we're gone off the screen. So folks, this shows you sort of how these are all kind of like little Bezier curves. So speed is handled by these sort of little curves that you can create. And, and, and the key to making these things do what you want them to do are these little these little handles here, right? All these little square parts are here. These are like the points where it's it's happening. It's showing where the keyframe is. But all the action, all the stuff you're doing, if it's like say you want to, uh, uh, you, you just we can make it do weird things. But I think this is mostly what most people would want to be able to do is just change the speed of what what something does over time. We can make it a little better there. We can make it a little happen a little faster just by moving the whole keyframe over. So let's check this now. That's what it looks like. I'll just change it a bit in and out. So you see this sort of thing a lot when you're doing special effects, text, and stuff. Folks, I hope this helps someone. We can go more in depth with it. I just want to give a fast, quick, and dirty uh, explanation for this uh, person, Joe, that's trying to make this happen. Hopefully this will sort of answer what he's trying to get at. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to my channel if you like. Thank you.